Hey everyone, I'm back from the very, very short break that we just took. That was Nostrand, I believe is how you would say this. Maybe Nostrand? I don't really know, but it was by Ratatat. Just kind of a chill Ratatat song. I, I really like Ratatat for just chilling. Um, but yeah, it's Spyro time. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna really try to make some time at the end so we can check in with the dragons. Uh, before rollover. If not... Maybe we can uh, go a little bit longer, like 45 minutes longer or so. Do uh, do Fly Rising after rollover? I don't know. We'll see how the night goes. We'll see how the night goes. I don't know if I'm willing to do that much extra Spyro, but uh, we'll we'll just have to wait and see how tired I get, I suppose. Ugh. But last time, um, I said I was going to do something off stream, and I didn't. So, I'm gonna go back and do that speedway level we did, because I forgot an orb, apparently. There's an orb there that I didn't grab. So, I'm gonna grab that. I don't think I should need to do the whole gauntlet and grab the orb. I think I just need to get the orb now, but I might be wrong. So, I, we'll just have to see. Oh, I need to turn this game up, if I remember right. This game's, like, extra quiet. Yeah, it is really quiet. Can I, like... Really weird how quiet this game is compared to everything else. Like, I gotta... I gotta really jack up my system sounds for you guys to even see that. Let's try that. How's that? Is that too loud? This is, like, volume almost maxed out in XSplit. Very weird. Um, I do want to start out by doing a new level, though. Yeah, that's a little on the loud side. I'm going to turn it down like a notch, but I think, we, uh, I think we've almost nailed it here. Where we need it for the volume. Okay. Okay, what's up, Laura? Well done, Spyro. The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. Oh, thank God. Thank God for the power of my orbs. If the first sin is so interesting, why aren't there any scholars of the second sin? That's just Dark Souls 3. No, I don't know. I honestly don't even know what the first sin is. So, that shows how much Dark Souls lore I know. Also, I made Spyro control like Dark Souls, and now I will never be able to go back and play the original Spyro game, or I will die. A lot. Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it fucking is it still is it still activated. fucking in Dark Souls though? Furthermore, is that just the, the, the scholars of fucking? <laughs> Thanks for the gem, Spyro. What am I even paying you to do? You fuck boy, uh, unlocking Zephyr. Oh, it is. It is still fucking in Dark Souls. Well, we 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 fucking we fucking know now. Damn. So they're just studying. Studying the fuck zone is what you're telling me. Breeze Harbor, um, Zephyr, and Crystal Glacier. I'm gonna do Crystal Glacier first. I don't remember any of these really off the top of my head. They'll probably come right back to me once I'm in the level, but I don't remember which level's which with uh, Spyro 2 and 3 as much. Spyro 1, not really even as much. I, I, I remember treetops. <laughs> I remember fucking treetops. Believe me, you don't forget treetops. Um, well, you don't forget treetops when you played it when you were like seven with a PS1 controller that didn't have analog sticks because they hadn't been invented yet. No, they had, but they hadn't been put on that PS1 controller yet. Pre Dual Shock. All right, what's this one? I got some ice people. Making trouble again. So who's gonna die in this cutscene? That's what I wanna know. Oh, that guy. Yep, he's dead. Oh god. Oh, they're both dead. No, he's not dead in the ice. Damn, I thought that was our first double kill in a Spyro cutscene, but no. Only one died. Spyro! 
The Ice Wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. What is it with, what is it with everybody in this game in hockey? Everybody just loves hockey in the Spyro universe. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. You got it, bro. Give me on that big bone. The big boner. Whoa. Yeah, I think this is Spyro taking a stab at prehistory, so I kind of expected them to have, like, caveman voice, you know? Whoa! Uh, he loves me. Do you see the hearts? He loves me. I can't fire on you. I can't fire on you. And let's free you. Thank you for releasing me. Watch! We'll help you climb this wall up ahead. Oh yeah? Watch, he says. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. You know, you guys don't have to like... Oh, I guess they kind of do. Yeah, because the spheres wouldn't be enough to support me, but I'm walking on their heads too. That makes sense, I guess. Whoa! Ice bunny. Fucker. Hmm. Yeah, I only sort of remember this one actually. I don't I don't have the best memory of this level. Like all the other ones, I'll, I'll get into it and I'll be like, oh yeah, this takes me right back. But this one I really don't remember too well. I remember that it existed. Um oh god. Alright, gotta kill some snowballs for sparks. Got all that. What's up, money bags? What the fuck do you want now? Hello there, Spyro. I could Let's see, 200? Fuck you. Thank you. Fuck you, man. But just do it. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, that was terrifying. He's a fucking bone snake master. Jesus. Spyro has very slappy feet on this hard floor. Why can he just I don't know! He's fucking... Like, honestly, I say fuck money bags all the time, and I mean it, but... He is, like, ultra-powerful. There's no denying it. Like, he's not just rich, he has, like, fucking superpowers. And magic. And magic. He has both. But he only... He only uses his power for money. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second and look out below. I remember there being a, a an ice fishing mini game in this that I really liked as a kid because you're like feeding someone's pet. I think this is the one with that. Definitely was an ice level. He's like an omniscient being who gets a kick out of scamming people. He's a chaotic god. He is a chaotic, like, god of money. Oh wow, that's all it takes to beat the level, but we're not done here. I need to get the orbs. Yeah, give me those orbs. And all the gems, too. Yeah, we've still got quite a bit to do. Can I go up here? Any gems up here? No gems, just friends. I mean, technically, Spyro's doing all this stuff for, like, orbs. Well, no, he's doing this stuff because he got, like, trapped here. So, technically, Spyro isn't... He doesn't want to be involved with this. He's kind of, like, reluctantly involved with this whole, uh... You know, saving these different worlds business again. Which is, I think, one of the funnier points of Spyro, if you think about it. Like, he never really wants to do any of this. He's always just fucking drafted into doing some stupid shit because someone else fucked up or is evil 
in the case of like nasty nork. All right. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they're infested with multiplying draclids. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. You think mm. Hello, Rika. For us? Welcome to Spyro. Yeah, let's get the draclids. Is that what these are? Eliminating draclids. We have to come back through here for the gems and then worry about the Drax. Oh. Nope, missed one. Fuck. I have to go through the whole thing again now. Damn it. Oh, I missed, a, I missed another one. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back through it. Alright. Actually, I should just, like, do this. I should just do this and fail and restart. It'll be quicker that way, trust me. They would have been respawning behind me by that point. It's best to just reset everything. I remember this one being hard, so... Okay, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, that's four. Now it's five. Uh. No, what? Oh, bro. Oh, bro, shit my pants. Shit my fucking pants. You did not just take that from me. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. Oof. No, I did it. <laughs> okay. I guess, I guess I still did it. Somehow. You have another one? Okay, no. So that was one gem. There's another one somewhere. And I need to get these gems, so let me go back through here. Get these. Gonna have to get the flight power up. Alright, didn't miss any. Man, this is, uh... was a pretty hard challenge, but it wasn't it wasn't as hard as I remembered it being as a kid, and that's probably because I did it with the D-pad. Mostly. That just makes things so much harder. I mean some people could do really well with the D-pad. I always preferred analog. Uh, I can't get up there though. That sucks. How do I get up there? Oh, right, it was this thing that I accidentally flew into earlier. I thought I screwed everything up, but I was fine. Okay. Now let's go further this way, I guess. Got everything over here already? I think so. We did that stuff, but there are more gems this way. Whoa. There's another gem. Or another, uh, orb. Yeah. Yeah. Give me an orb. I lost my pet snow leopard. Oh, it was a snow leopard. That's what it is. I turned around. He was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draclids. Bring back the snow leopard. I got this. I remember this. This is the thing I remember about this level, is this guy. It's pretty much just like it did in the uh, original. That's all the gems. I 
I can't get up there. <laughs> I can't get up there, man. Wait, how do I, uh... There's supposed to be, like, fish jumping out of here, I think. I like how he, like, wants me to find his cat that's, like, right around the corner, too. It's right here. Oh, that's too cold. There you go. No. No! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. George, no. George, go that way. George, go that way. Go the other way, George! Yeah, yeah, cool. Eat the fish. Are you gonna follow me now? Oh, I just needed to feed him enough. Okay. We cool? Alright. <laughs> Fuck you, George. Fuck you, George! What do you know? Fuck movies. Here we go. He can't run, but he can patter over here. You found George! I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. Meow. All I have with me is this round, shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. Oh boy. Just for me? Wow. Corb on the orb. That's 100% complete for this level. I'm gonna get a... I'm gonna get a butterfly before we leave. Sparks ain't looking too hot. Alright. Um, actually, I should find the exit portal so that we can see the exit cutscene. I think we might have missed an exit cutscene last time I streamed this. Whatever. Alright, does somebody die, though, during the exit cutscene? Because it's not a real Spyro game unless someone dies. <laughs> Two people died. Oh, three. No, they're not. They're not dead. They're not dead. Triple kill. What? Whoa. I didn't even know. I didn't even know you could use the bumpers. I mean, I knew you could do it when you were in the game. I didn't know you could do it at this menu. Whatever. I wanted death, too. I'm a little disappointed with that cutscene for not involving any, uh, any death. Or destruction. The destruction of a friendship, perhaps. Zephyr. Hmm. Zephyr or Breeze Harbor? Which one do I want to do first is the real question. I'm going to do Zephyr first. I'm going to do Zephyr first, because Breeze Harbor is the one with trouble with the trolley, eh? And we'll... We'll get there. Oh god. Oh god, where's this taking? Oh. Oh. Metro Speedway. Don't want to do that either. Let's go. He looks like he's made of plastic. Or like vinyl, you know? <laughs> it looks like a Funko Pop. 
Not in design, but just in, like, material. Like, it's plastic, but it's, like, soft. A little bit. Just a little bit. Or at least soft-looking. It looks pretty... pretty floppy. Oh, right, I do remember this one. Oh my god! Oh my god. We witnessed a death. That was a death. Is this the original reignited soundtrack? Let's do the original. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. You got it, dude. You gotta blow up a fucking building. Fuck these birds. Oh my god, heat seeking? Wow. A lot just happened in a short amount of time. I'm gonna get one of these fat caterpillars. Oh. Piece of garbage. Oh. No, let me get up! Let me get up there! Alright, whatever. I really need to heal, actually. Okay. Dang cattle just ain't working. Dang Do you think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. There we go. Right on, man. Figuring these puzzles out left and right. Oh god, no, no, no. Man, I I remember the uh, the trouble with the trolley mini game so well because it's a pain in the ass in the original game. Um, but from what I hear, it should be better in the reignited trilogy, and that'll be the next level we do. It's a really hard mini game, though. These birds are way too cute to be the bad guys. You're right. Yeah, their design does not scream bad guy. They make some pretty awful faces. But... No more offensive than Chicken Little. Oh, perfect hit. Did he really think that was going to hit me? Just as soon as he saw me, he just threw it in a direction. Whether I was near it or not, it was not of concern. I'll get a bear. That's where I want to be. Um... Oh! Whoa. That almost caught me off guard. Almost! But I'm always on guard, because I'm Spyro. Wolf. Alright. Bam. Oh. So I should uh, probably shoot that. Nice. And just 
a tree full of explosives. And there was a dude in there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking spam a little bit. No way. How are you fucking dodging that? This bird's made of a material we we don't understand. Where are the sickly skeletons to carry those barrels? Gotcha. I just wanted to hit the bird. I just wanted to hit the bird. That's all I wanted in my life, and I got it, and I'm happy. Oh. Would've missed these. I would've been pissed. Um... I have a feeling there's still a gem up there. Wow! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. <laughs> oh yeah, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. No prob, bro. Thanks for the bomb. Thanks for the fucking bomb. There's definitely places I haven't been in this level. Ah! Case in point. What's over here? Oh, I remember this area. There's like a, uh, a farming thing in this. We farm little elephant dudes. Uh, you have to herd them. Yeah, there they are! Yeah, I remember this. Gotta get that mystery pot. That's for damn sure. Okay, gotta make sure I... You fucker. I killed him. He's dead. He is dead. Forever. Never to return? I sure hope so. I don't remember what to do with these guys. I feel like there's a quest I didn't accept. That I need to accept first. So I'm gonna come back. Can we make the pants? Oh god. Now that's gonna get stuck in my head. Well, this is just great. Nice of you to join me, Sparks. Oh man, they're hiding gems right in front of my eyes in the grass. You really gotta look carefully in the grass sometimes. You wheel miss gems. Oh, I didn't even go over here yet. Who are you, man? What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Oh God. Every time I break one of those pots, it gets into your head. God. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? That's a video game reference that I understand. Ah. The hell is that? The hell is that shit? I know where the quest is, I just want to get some gems, see if we can't get close.
to full gems, because we're not even close right now. I'm guessing there's a lot of places I haven't been. What's up, Professor? Spiral what are you boy. doing here? I've got a magic bean. I mean, seed for you in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Bro, you have hands. Wait, plant seeds to climb to Juliet? That... that window? I don't... I don't see any other window. Wait. I thought it said press Y to plant the seed. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do, Professor. Oh wait, maybe I have to plant it in the mud. There it is. And another. Um... Oh, the professor's all the way up there. I don't even know how to even begin getting up there. Ow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's what I needed to fucking do the whole time. I got it this time. Hmm. No, no. I need a second one. The one just like laying around that I didn't grab? There's the one over here, but I had to use the other seed to get to it. Wait a minute, I can oh I can undo. I can undo seeds. Oh. Yep, that's what I need to do. So I gotta go over here. Do that. Do this. And then I'll have to come back for that seed. But I'm gonna put this one down first. There we go. Yes, yeah, super brain genius hours today. I know. It's astounding. But, like, why does the professor have me do this when he has hands? Like, you have, you have fucking hands, dude. Just plant some seeds. You know how to do it. You're a scientist. Ah, that's where I need it. Right there. There, right there, and right there. Everybody knows I'm a pushover. Yeah, they're just walking all over Spyro now. Well, that's a tall boy. Oh! Oh my god. This is, uh, this is kind of tough, this jump. 
Well, only because I tried to go for the really the tippy top one. Can I have the seed? Thanks. Ah. Aha. I see gemstones. Hey Spyro, I was gonna order Uber Eats, but could you just drive to McDonald's for me? You can just fly there. Right? And could you just fly to McDonald's? Well done, my boy. Here I Oh, thanks for the fucking poor boy. Thanks for that shit. Professor. Uh-oh. Oh. I got stuck. I got stuck! Oh. So it's gonna be like that, is it? Alright, hang on. Yep. Oh my god, hang on. I'm gonna need more, I'm gonna need better planning than that. Okay, sorry, I was answering the door. It's Poozles. It's Poozles. And I'm not good at Poozles. I'm not good at them because I have a bad brain, but I think I can make it work. I think I can make it work to my advantage. There we go. Let me do this. Then we aim and fire macros, and I scoop this up in my mouth, my dragon mouth, which is super gross. Probably. And then boom, we just say hi to Cousin Throckmorton. That's Juliet, huh? Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. You know, wherefore doesn't mean where. Wherefore art thou, Romeo, doesn't mean where are you. <laughs> it means like, why must you be? Alright, well, that's a, that's a spicy gem. Or a, I keep calling them gems, but they're fucking orbs. So spicy orb acquired, and now I go do the herding minigame with these boys. Oh wait. Almost missed out on plenty of gems just there. Wait, what's this thing do? Where does that take me? Oh! That's convenient. This is a babby game, yeah. That's true. I shouldn't be so critical of the Shakespearean, uh grammar or whatever the fuck. Extra life, um... Wait, no. I need to be, like, down here. Yeah, you're the one. 
name is Little Bo Peep, and I've lost my cowlicks. <laughs> With these battles going on all of the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? Oh, God. All right. Yep, I remember this fucking game. It's really good. Wait, number three. Please wait, number three. There we go. He's definitely up there now. Yeah, get on over there. Get on over there. That's three. Oh, wait, I think there's a couple down here. I also love Little Bo Peep. I also love Little Bo Peep. This is a good uh, character they've introduced. Unfortunately, I think this is the only time you ever see Little Bo Peep. And that is simply a crime. Hang on, I'm gonna get this one gem before I'm like, WHERE'S THE- <laughs> I don't even need to finish that, that was like the perfect emotion. Oh! Oh man, guys, don't tell PETA on me. Rightfully escaped being burgers, and now I'm denying them freedom. Yeah, but I'm doing it for an orb, so I'm not just doing it like out of the out of the like coldness of my heart. How the fuck do I get these out of here? I have no idea how to fucking do this. I don't think this is how. Maybe if I get a boost to my flame, I can boost them further. Oh yeah! That's totally what I needed to do. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, yote for sure. Yeah. Been mad yote. Oh. Ah. Don't go back down there. No, you son of a bitch! Alright, go. Go. Back in the pen. Back in the pen. <laughs> they remind me of fucking Max Rebo. From Star Wars. Why is that one ascending? Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something for, you know, the effort. Yeah. Two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. Oh shit, get two more. Oh boy, I think they're over here though. I like how everyone hated the yeet thing back in 2016, and now we've all just accepted it. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of funny, huh? It's just how it works though. If something is consistent enough, people will eventually just accept it. Here's one of them. I don't know where the other one is, though. Oh, he might be down there by the professor. Hang on. In the professor zone. I don't think they can walk off of ledges, so once I get him up there, it should be fine. Let's 
Stop it, Max Rebo. Fucking Max Rebo. Looking ass. There we go. No, 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 no. Yeah, up there. Well, I'm really, I'm really eating these animals. Okay, wait for him to walk towards the edge. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh my god, I got him over there somehow. Hang on, I'm gonna get you out of the way. Oh, Max Rebo, go! Okay, you, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeet! Yeet! Oh. Yeah, it looks like there's some uh, AI there helping me out with that particular gap. Alright. And now, I just yeet them back over to the pen. It'll be the easiest thing goddamn ever done. One's already basically there. Go! <laughs> I remember this taking much longer with a D-pad and on PlayStation 1. So I'm glad that this minigame was improved. I, I can only hope for the same with the trolley one. In the, in the bay area. I don't remember what it's called. That one is just stuck in the air forever. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. Hell yeah. Oh man. It's so shiny. Alright, we need more gems. Oh yeah, we need plenty more fucking gems. So let's see what in the world I'm missing. Go back this way. Hmm. I'm missing so many gems, though. It's always weird when you play a game that took up a big chunk of your childhood and beat it in like eight hours. Yeah, it really is. It really is. I haven't had that a whole lot, but with the first Spyro, I was like amazed at how little time it took me. Took me forever to get through that game when I was a child. There we go. Go back over there. Still haven't killed these birds. Wow, that's a lot. We still have a bunch more. I'm missing almost 60. Oh, well, there's some. Okay, I see some. There we go. Well, there's some. Why would I go this way? That was just a bad idea. Oh, there's some shit in there. I'm gonna have to blow that up as well. Got it. I think there was only four gems that came out of that. Um, let me see if I can blow this thing up in here. Oh, I totally can. Yeah! That's gotta be all of them, though. Don't give me that one gem shit. There we go. Now it's just a race to the finish. 
And we get to see more death. Probably. I really like this game though. Like despite despite its easiness and all that. Um oh, outside of a few places, I guess. There are there is some challenge. But overall this game is very easy. Um, but despite that, I think it's just it's just fun. It's just a good time. It just feels good to play. After all this time. I'm still finding enjoyment in this game. That's really cool. I'm sure I would have appreciated that knowledge as a kid, that I would still be enjoying Spyro when I was 24. Oh! Blasted. He didn't die. He didn't die. A game can be easy and still good, yeah. True. True. I'm also playing Viva Pinata at the same time, which I feel is like the perfect example of that. Because that game's easy as hell, but it's got a lot of depth to it that can keep you busy for a long time. If you like the gameplay loop, you can really get stuck in that game for a while. Doing some stuff. You got the ultimate joke, Jody! Damn! 69,420 Cory Coins. That's amazing. Are you the first? I think you're the first one ever to do that. No, did Roman do it? I feel... Hmm, someone else might have done it. There's like an island over there. There's a, not an island, but a level over there. I'm gonna go see what's up with the one that's inside. Roman did get one, okay. Still, though. Still, though, that's an impressive amount of Cory Coins. Hot damn. Um, this Saturday, I'm thinking we will do more of the, of the corruptions that you guys can participate in. So, I'll make those, uh, blast things available. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do much lower prices this time for things. We didn't do Fracture Hills yet. Damn. Shady Oasis. So there's still uh, a good few levels I haven't done. Let's do Shady Oasis, just because I'm all the way over here. This is like the furthest one out, so do this one before any of the others. If this is the one I'm thinking of, we got Creepy Hansel and Gretel to look forward to in this one. Secret, Creepy Secret Agent Hansel and Gretel. And I swear that's a thing in this game. It's real. Don't believe me? Just watch. I think this is the level, though. Pretty sure. I haven't played this game in years, though. I could be completely fucking wrong. Uh... Actually, I don't know. This might not be the one. This might not be the one. Ooh. Oh no. It's a Mad Libs character, creepy secret agent Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, this is not um, the one that I was thinking of with creepy secret agent Hansel and Gretel. It's just got these uh, hippo boys that grow when they eat these fruit. Yep, yep. So, uh, rev up your inflation fetish. Because we got growth cherries. He even fucking bounces me out of the way. With his giant fucking belly. These are like the thieves from the, uh, the egg thieves from the first game a little bit. But they have like swords. And they're just like shadows now. It's like shadow spirits. Ooh. Stop! Hey. Yeah, they are just like scaled up, that's true. It's not like he's like getting, you know, uh deviant arted over here. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Cause I'm pretty sure that's all I need to say. He's not getting the deviant the deviant art treatment. Alright, you know, before I follow him, I'm gonna go get gems on this, but I don't want to have to backtrack the whole fucking level. Ooh. 
Donkey Kong 64 also had hippos that grow when you feed them. That's interesting. Spyro uh, stealing some shit from uh, from DK. I did not know that. I haven't actually played Donkey Kong 64 now that I think about it. I've seen it be played, but I haven't actually played it myself. Oh yeah, I missed some stuff down here. In the very first spot. I want to blow that up. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue with the hyperinflation hippo and uh, see what we can get with his aid. Oh, that's right where we started. Okay. If this water's so toxic, how come the lily pads can survive? Get out of here. What? I feel like I did some stuff wrong there. Hang on. Very like banjo, but people don't like it as much. Huh. I do I do like a banjo. A banjo-esque game. So sometimes my uh, my little hover doesn't work for whatever reason. Settling, man. Just to watch that process. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Of course, I didn't think anything of it at, at the time when I was a child playing this. It's long and tedious, but not awful. Well, could be worth a look one day. Next time I'm in the mood for like a new platformer that I've never played, I might actually get into that. Well, is it a platformer? I guess I don't really know that for a fact. I just figured it would be. Look. Those guys in blackface? I mean, I guess technically kind of. They're like shadow spirit people. And like, Hitting the bush with one of those lava rocks should work. Oh, lava rocks, lava rocks, right. Yeah, it is a little hmm. Hmm. I died to get a good look at that. I, I don't remember what the original designs were like, honestly. It could have been exactly like this. But yeah, given that this came out when it did, this remake, is a little weird, right? Anything? I think we're good. Thanks for helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. I really feel like I've heard this fucking voice before, but I can't place it. 
Ron's hippo voice. Spyro, three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before... Why are they just standing there with them, then? If they're trying to get away after stealing them... Oh, they are trying to get away after stealing them, I see. Alright. Alright. Very close that time. I should have just fired him. Yeah. That was uh I don't want I don't care about your brother being trapped right now. Now what do you want? Sorry. Spyro, my brothers have been trapped in solid rock. I'm afraid you'll need to learn some kind of head bash move before you can help Oh, us. so we need to learn to move and come back here later. I see. Oh yeah, you need the head bash to open those. I remember that. Okay, so we're not going to be 100%ing this right now, or anything, but I can at least get these thieves that have taken the lamps. Oh shit! Oh shit, platforming master! Alright. Let's get serious about this. I gotta... Ah! Wait! I still have a chance. I still have a chance. Yeah! One more. I don't know where that would be. Shit over there I missed. I see a rocket. I see a rocket. I need that. That is how I get the thing in the middle. I guarantee you. That thing down there. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, I don't remember where that is. There it is. There it is. What happened to Spyro? Um, I mean, he's cool now. That's what happened to him. <laughs> What would Spyro look like if he ate one of those cherries? Haha, ha, asking for a friend. The hyperinflation cherries? I don't know what would happen. But you could probably consult DeviantArt and get your answer. Alright, it would be in here, I think. Oh, when he was a lava rocky, that was a, uh, it was power up. That was like all, it, it allows me to walk on any surface, even if it's like goop. I can just walk on the surface, like I'm, like I'm dragging Jesus. Mmm, delicious! Delicious! Money, most of which will go to money bags. That's not true. Well, I guess, uh... I guess it's just a matter of getting back to the end now, because I'm not going to be able to get all of the... all of the stuff until I get the head bash. So, it's probably not even worth hanging out here anymore. We, that's fine. Um, I probably need to find money bags, though, in, like, the overworld and get that. Ah! 
There's nothing in the Bible saying Jesus wasn't a dragon. I suppose you're right. I suppose you're right. Maybe what, what was Jesus's first song? Asking for a friend. Ah! I did that before. It was a lamb. Jesus's persona is a lamb. That's really funny. There's also nothing that said he didn't eat inflation fruits. That's true. That's true. They didn't detail every minute detail of Jesus's life. What if he ate some inflation fruits? I mean, whatever. As you do. You know, when in Rome, when in inflation cherry land. You best be eating those inflation cherries. Whoa. Where do you think you're going, bro? Nah, oh, man. Nah, oh, that fucking got you, bro. Yeah. Oh. Okay, at least complete that one. Thanks for bringing back the three magic lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a. <laughs> Thou shalt not eat of the inflation cherries. Matthew 19:26. I'm sure that's what that actually says. Don't look it up. I'm sure that's what it actually says. And you know what? If you do eat the inflation cherries, you die before you go to hell. It's like regular. There is a big chunk of Jesus' life unaccounted for in the Bible. He could have gotten really into inflation. I'm sure that he did. That's probably accurate. You know, if you're a prophet... I mean, <laughs> what other fetish could you possibly have? Other than inflation. Hippo cherry inflation. Oh my god. Spyro is just the Bible. Wait a minute. Uh, money bags is the traitor, and as, as Jesus, we must drive him from the temple. Right? You know, he's, he's like the... The people that got driven from the temple. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look, I don't read books. <laughs> Alright. The written word, not for me. It's not video games. Let's go to Fracture Hills. I don't remember this level at all. But then we really need to look for money sags, because I really need him to teach me the head bash. We're going to need that later on. Oh god. So if the Bible if the Bible was a video game, you'd play it. I have. I have. A few times. I've played the Bible game. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Especially if it was a good game. Oh, why the fuck is this so loud? Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry that was so loud. That guy got straight up killed, though. Oh, I just flame him to release? Oh, good. This is the bagpipes level. I remember this one. Because <laughs> you almost are never not hearing bagpipes while you're playing this level. Thank you for releasing me. There are still some more satyrs trapped in stone. Trapped in stone. You gonna talk to me? Oh, hello there, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> You're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. Stone? You mean earth benders? Okay. First of all, that's one. Hmm. So yeah, I vaguely remember this one. There's a lot of bagpipes. And, uh, there's... Oh my god, I forgot about the bushes! Yeah, and there's evil trees! 
Yep. That is a thing. Thank you for releasing me. And this mountain is just exploding more and more. <laughs> so there is a way to kill these guys, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It involves, uh... It involves freeing these dudes. Yeah, some of the bushes are evil. No problem. They're highly flammable, at least. So I have that going for me. I miss some gems. I'm gonna regret. I'm gonna regret that purchase if I don't come back and get these. You know what? Torch all the bushes just to be safe. You know we don't need bushes anymore. Some of them are evil. That's all I needed to know. Bushes are out of style now. All right, fine. Nah! I wanna chew on you. Piece of garbage. Eh. So we're exploding the mountains that have formed around their temple because these dudes just came in and were like, fuck your temple. We're gonna encase it in stone for some reason. Like, I don't know why all this stuff is happening in this land. Is it Ripto's fault? Probably not. I don't think it is. He doesn't have- he just- it's him and his, like, lackeys. There's only a couple of them. Their teeth are just leaves. I don't know how they chew on you and actually harm you with leaf teeth. Maybe there's, like, brambles in them that, like, are like, eh. When you get in there. Yeah, I like the idea behind the bush enemies. Definitely. Oh, I forgot this guy. If you bagpipe hard enough, this mountain will explode. Maybe they've got nettle-like leaves. Yeah, and then they're just, like, brushing against you. And applying an irritant. And that is why Spyro gets harmed. That could be. There are many possibilities. Ah! Okay. He got, he got flamed a little bit. The way they come at you is, like, really fucking creepy. It's so fast. You playing with a yo-yo? Oh, a dragon! Perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key. Do you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night? Break down the door. Get on the floor. How'd you get stuck in there playing the yo-yo? What did you? What were you doing to end up in this situation? Last guy. And then we can take the down route and start taking care of everything downstairs. Now that you have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hills, you ought to explore the temple. I will explore the temple. I will do that. But give me a minute, bro. I'm gonna. Oh god. Right, okay. We need to kill one more enemy. And then I can supercharge. Oh, 
Oh, right. Fuck. <laughs> if I get hit one more time, I die. Nice. Go fuck yourself. Got him. Got him. I get this guy next. Hit him into attack, and then there you go. I thought um, that you had to have the uh, Seder dudes help you beat them, but no. I think I was thinking of a different level. We're good. Now I can do the supercharge thing and try to get these extra jams. Um, so you may notice many ramps and uh, pathways winding around, and we're going to need to figure out where to go to effectively charge through the whole level. Oh, wait. Secrets. Secrets. Man, those gems would have been a pain in the ass if those were the last ones I needed. What's I've up? been experimenting with a new potion. I'd like to try it out, but the earth shapers have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? Great! Just keep the. Oh, dude, what? Will you escort? Not right now. Not right now. What if I kill them first, and then do your escort quest? There's Hunter. What? <laughs> Why is Hunter here? What the fuck are you doing here, dude? He's got like... His feet are encased in stone. What's wrong, man? What happened? Stand still, he says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Oh. Oh, hi, Spyro. You're a side for sword. Okay. Well, I think I know approximately what I need to do. And it involves that bad boy right there. So let's try it. Nope. Not what I need to do, apparently. Alright, here we go. The real attempt. Whoa. Ah, uh, now I need to charge over there, okay. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. And go. Ah! Cocks. Cocks. No. Oh my God. Gotcha. Oh, thank goodness you broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please, take it. Found this fancy orb in here. We're just sitting in this empty house. A likely story. A likely fucking story. 
All right. Um. I really don't want to do the alchemist quest. And really, I can't supercharge these guys. I can, but it doesn't kill them. Whoa. You tuned out for a second, and when you came back, I was just zip zooming away, yeah. I was really going hog wild on that on that supercharge a minute ago. How the fuck am I supposed to protect this guy from these things? I wonder if the fucking four star difficulty. So is this just going to be a matter of fucking memorizing which order he fucking takes the path? Okay. Oh, dude, that fucking blows. Oh, this orb is going to really piss me off. Especially because he just wants to go to Hunter, who's right there. Why are you taking this convoluted-ass route? What what ass this is? What ass a tree? What ass a tree? <sighs> I feel like I'm missing something now. Oh oh, I see something that I could have done. Oh boy! All right, here we go. Here we go. Super speed. Go, go, go. Go, speed racer, go. No! Oh, I guess I got those, so it wasn't a total loss, but fuck! I'm gonna take care of this ass hole. Or get, you know, really fucked up. Oh, man. This is, uh, this is some real fuckery. Some actual fuckery. Is that work? Get up there. Get there. Oh, I need a pig. I need a pig. Stat. I need more pigs than just one, though. I should really get multiple pigs. You're, oh my god, you really have to fucking be pixel perfect if you're gonna stun lock those guys into the lava. Fuck! This is some ass. It's ass! Ugh. like I can do this right now. No, this level of Spyro might actually be uh, more than I'm willing to bite off right now. So... I think, 
I think I might just go to the exit for now and we'll come back and do the rest of this level next time. Because really the only main objective is you have to open up the temple. And you know, I'll come back another time and finish it up, but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of flight rising before I go. Something a little easier on me brain. Oh, hi, Dragon Boy. You're probably expecting me to say, you're my hero. Thanks for saving poor helpless little me. Sorry, short stuff. I was only in here because I like the peace and quiet. Anyway, the other fawns wanted me to give you this talisman. All right, all right. Well, we sort of completed the level. Not really completely, completely, but I finished it. So next time I stream this, we'll just go back in there and finish that up. No problem. But that, that minigame is going to bust my ass, I can already tell you. Oh, now they're sort of into it. Oh my god, are they being hypnotized? That's fucking scary. That is fucking scary. <laughs> um... Alright, cool. Ah, uh, good old Spyro, though. Always a good time for me to get back into Spyro and, uh... You know, jump around, charge around, light some stuff on fire. It's just fun. It's just fun. So I'm always happy to do it. Do we get an exit cutscene? No, we don't! What? Oh yeah, we already watched it. <laughs> they were hypnotized. I can't believe I are- That's how bad my fucking memory is. Seriously. Seriously, it's fucked up. Anyway, I'm gonna take a quick break. Quick, and I do mean quick, because I just need to break down my monitor and uh, get, get my double monitors back. Oh my god, that was so loud. I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry for the Super Mario Brothers uh, attack just now. But anyway, I will be back in just a minute. So don't go too far, and when I come back, we'll do some flight rising before I uh, completely end the stream for the day. So, uh, be right back.